I'm Chris Letty, I'm 26. I've been training Jiu Jitsu since I was about 17, full time since 2011. I train here every day at East Coast Jiu Jitsu Academy HQ in Monkstown. And I'm just this month, so June 2015, opening up our first affiliate school, East Coast Jiu Jitsu in Bray. the Bray Main Street here then take us across the Dargo Bridge into Little Bray it's called this isn't actually called Big Bray <laughs> but that's called Little Bray for some reason I saw that actually the other day yeah like the Bray it's like the Britain before Bray it's like Little Italy except you know, I, like Chinatown in we have a Bray town in Bray yeah, like right. uh, in New York you have like Little Italy and Chinatown and Koreatown we have, have a little Bray in Bray. You didn't have enough Bray, so you added more. Yeah, the exactly. Just exactly. put the little one on top. I think the little one was there first, though. <laughs> or so I'd be led to believe. So I'm not oh. sure. I used to be a little Bray man now, but I've... Uh, look, since I made it big, now I'm living in Big Bray. <laughs> Here's the Dargo Bridge here now. Very brief crossing of the Dargo Bridge. The Dargo... Uh, has it called a very strong place in my heart. Fran O'Toole Bridge is actually called. There you go. O'Toole Bridge. Taking a left down here. This takes us onto the lower Dargle Road. The easiest way to get to the gym, I'd say, is quite this way. Is this the way you walked down the other day? So here we are here, RD Street, the big blue house. Slightly graffiti. Oh, here's some of the lads. Here's Jerry. Some of my local kids. They're dying to start Jiu Jitsu with me now next week. And my kids' class will start on Tuesday. Hey, lads. Hey, 
26 meters squared of maths here at the academy. I thought that was the most important thing when setting up the gym. That's where we're going to be spending all of our time when we're training is down on the floor. Um, and I didn't want to put any corners there. I got the maths brand new over from Europe. Same company that did the Olympics, uh, the maths for the Olympics in London. Um, so ready to go, guys. Looking forward to having everyone down here sweating it out on the mats. Take the lift up, you know. it means so much to me, guys. Not even just the guys and the girls from Motown or any of the other schools that I've trained in before. Especially the people that haven't met them before or haven't trained them before. Especially you guys, thanks so much for coming. Uh, I've been telling everyone that I've opened the gym for so long, and now it's finally opened, so yeah, we're open next week, finally. Um, and I hope that I might get a third of the people that are here today down for our class, so I'll be absolutely um, not. A few people said to me today, visits to a class to train with us in the main gym in Mumstown. That's one of the big things they say, oh, the atmosphere is so good, everyone's so friendly to me and stuff like that. And that's uh, a reflection of, I think, from the top down. And um, I'm going to try to bring that to you here as well. So I was being a bit of a narky. Well, I wasn't having fun next to you, but I didn't have fun then. I'm telling you I'm having a serious event. So the best thing I've ever done in my life. I have been in here for the last three months ish, two, three months, doing a little bit every day, a little bit every day. There's so many jobs that I have to wait to do, to wait for another job, and I can't do this till this gets done, which I have to wait for this. Day. So many things, three or four people in here at a time, and now I didn't even count how many people were in here earlier on, but I'll tell you that it looks absolutely amazing. Um, when I started training, a few people in, in the room here were there and were even there before me. I uh, had to pull down the mats for every class, I had to put them back over, it wasn't even our gym. The mats were all different sizes and different shapes. Uh, you, you couldn't hang around after the class and chat with people, you couldn't really get a community going down the gym. I just ran over there and there was a Pilates class on straight after. From what I've seen in the last year and a half, two years in East Coast and Town, when you get a full time facility for something like this, and you're not being rushed off the mat after. There's not some crowd of people that we don't know that are going to be coming in after here for training, and it creates just a, a fantastic atmosphere. Um, we did too. We fight by ourselves. Obviously, we're training to learn how to fight one on one. Whether you're going to compete or whether you're just training for fun of it, it's a one on one thing, which you can't do any of it without a team. Uh, literally, and it's not just a team of, of people that I know that I'm going to win and bounce off. It's a, a team of people that friends that I've made, and look, people are here, there's, I, I have, I'm um, 26, I haven't been doing jiu-jitsu for 26 years, and there's not very many people that I know that don't do jiu-jitsu that came today. All of my friends that are here do jiu-jitsu. The other guys that don't do jiu-jitsu, I don't know where they are, but that's what I'm trying to say, though, you know what I mean? This is the real, the real friends. This is the real family. When you break your neck, sweating, blood, and hopefully you won't have too much blood in the first few classes here. Because when you're training hard, you're training hard <laughs> with the same people for years, and you guys are all involved, all interested in the same thing, you're all going for the same goal. Whether it's representing yourself, representing your team, you can represent your country in some cases. Uh, we all need each other to do it. And I'm absolutely delighted, guys, again, to see so many people here. Um, if I can make this gym even half as good as what Tara and the rest of the team um, in Mount Sam at home, I'll be absolutely good. Tara can't hear me now. But without Tara, guys, none of this would be possible. Probably no one in this room, maybe a few of you guys that haven't met Tara before, right? but nobody in this room <laughs> has trained in the East Coast or that has trained even a little bit of the East Coast will be here without Tara. Tara took over our gym five, six years ago, not because he wanted to, just because if he didn't, he wouldn't have had a gym anymore. And now Dara is black belt under Cerro Barrow. Dara is black belt champion in a lot of big competitions. 
you know, having famous all around the world now. And guys, off the back of that, we have one of the best opportunities in the country. You're training with literally the best team in the country on paper. And, and I think on the mats as well, you know, being in atmosphere. I've never been to a place where there's so many sound lads and girls all together, you know what I mean? It's, it's a fantastic thing to be a part of. But this is the real deal here, guys. There's, uh, there's been a lot of juicy gyms and bread that come and gone. Um, here for a month or two, here for a year or two, and they're gone. I'm not planning on going anywhere. I always want to do this down the line, and this is just going to be the start of now. Join the guys with the best team in the country, okay? Uh, I've been working full time with teaching and training, and what I've learned is not just learn to be wire bars, learn how to lead a class, learn what people should be learning at what stage. I'm, I've been to, again, well, not I've been, I've heard a lot of experiences with people. But I coach all, all the beginners classes in Monkstown. I look after, and I look after contacting the people that come for the first day as well. I hear a lot of stories about, you know, try this work next So I'm not going to name names or the fall, and I try this work next or I try here. I went in on the first day, there was no beginners class. No, I was thrown in the deep end, or the, I, was, I wasn't meant to be a welcome, or if I had a girl, and I, was, I wasn't meant to be in a girl's change rooms. All the little things like this. Um, that I have taken no of over the years training and I'm hoping to just skip all that much out. We have taken five, six years to get these coaches to town to where it is now. And I'm going to start this gym on day one, hopefully. Like, skip all that. And I wasn't planning on saying anything, hey, guys. Thank you so much for everybody that came. Um, thanks to more and knows it well. Thanks to more than that from all of us.
What is it that makes you want to go do jiu-jitsu every day? That's a good question. Um, I've always been involved in sports or uh, act, something active to some degree, whether it was going out skateboarding, going to the gym with my friends, it's a way to play football on a team. And I always liked that atmosphere of being around people with the same uh, goals and the same uh, the same ideas as you, you know, they think the same, they like the same things, they're interested in the same things. Uh, when I train Jiu Jitsu, everybody in the room also loves Jiu Jitsu. Everybody in the room is probably pursuing uh, a healthy lifestyle to some degree, or else they wouldn't be able to train Jiu Jitsu. So there's always things to talk about. Um, it's always good to see the people uh, every day that are beating you up on the mats and you guys are sharing uh, uh, an experience, a fun experience, a tough experience, um, uh, a life changing experience in, in, in my opinion. Um, I love coming here for all sorts of reasons. I love the hard training, I love the satisfaction after a hard training session of feeling that you worked hard that day, of being tired and not being tired from just sitting on the couch all day eating bad food, being tired physically and mentally tired from uh, hard work which is definitely going to benefit you going forward. Um, I love the camaraderie, I love the jokes, I love the way that it keeps me on track outside of the gym, you know, make sure that I'm getting enough sleep every night, make sure that I'm eating well, make sure that I'm looking after my body outside. Um, when I played football, that wasn't necessarily such a big part of the experience. I know when I was, uh, unless you're maybe at an elite level in a lot of sports teams, there's no environment of this is what we need to do doing outside of the football pitch. There's no uh, team atmosphere there in my experience where in, in Jiu Jitsu everyone's keeping on top of each other, making sure that we're staying on top of our injuries, making sure that we're sharing each other's new ideas. Oh, I found this new stretch or I found this new recipe or whatever. Everyone's on the same page.